So I wanted to uh, discuss with you, whoever you might be out there in the uh, world of uh, virtual whatever it is out there. Um, anyway, we have a, um, a business here where we uh, deconstruct buildings and we salvage the materials and we look to repurpose them to other uses, similar uses, or the same use that they were used for the first time. Um, if we're going to move to a more sustainable existence, we're going to have to utilize all our resources. One of those resources um, is the houses and buildings that we have and that we sometimes demolish. If we take those buildings apart and save the materials, we can create um, many times more jobs. There, there's still going to be situations where we need to demolish buildings. Sometimes we partially demolish them and save some of the materials. Sometimes we can't save any of the materials. Uh, sometimes we can save all of the materials, the entire house, the foundation, the contents, the landscape plants, the rock walls, everything gets taken out before, say, the highway goes through or some redevelopment happens. Uh, the college needs a new dorm or whatever it is. We take all those materials, pull all the nails out, wrap it up. Maybe we sand it and replane it, uh, and then we sell it. Another whole set of jobs is taking those materials and making things out of it, just like you would with brand new wood. You send it to the factory, they make bookcases. Of course, nowadays, you're not going to get a wood bookcase, are you? You're going to get particle board, which falls apart and is horrible and has formaldehyde uh, off-gassing and all kinds of crazy things. It's heavy, it's dense, and it's not strong. It falls apart, it breaks. Anyway, that's a digression. The point being, we can take this really old wood, which has better qualities than even the wood grown now, in many cases, and make things out of it and keep using it. We can then, 20 years from now, take that bookcase we make from the salvaged lumber, which was harvested in 1890, and then we can take that bookcase and take it apart and use it as shelving for another 20 years. So as long as you don't get the wood wet or something, it's going to last for a really long time, hundreds and hundreds of years. Just like uh, you might go to a house that was, there's houses in Fairfield County built in the late, teens, uh, the late uh, 1600s. Um, so anyway, uh, we can create more jobs. We can salvage all that material, create a resource that is harvested locally, like right next door. In Connecticut, something in the order of 3,000 buildings a year are demolished. All that material is either burned or it's brought to a landfill in Ohio. Tell me there's something wrong in terms of the carbon footprint of that system, right? Diesel fuel, trucking it, using a bulldozer to bury it, and then what? It sits in the ground when it could have been usable materials that would, re would offset us taking new trees, which grow. And then we harvest, and then we mill, and then we transport from Sweden or some insane place. Um, this is not sustainable. The system we have now needs to shift. We all know that. Well, most of us know it. Some of us still think there's no global warming. Okay. In the meantime, whether you think it's true or not, there's still things you can do that are more sustainable, right? Um, one of the other elements behind all this is if we create more jobs and they're localized, we're helping develop a, a, a better local community instead of outsourcing worldwide and all this other stuff, which really doesn't enhance our quality of life. It might give us a lot of cheap goods. Yes, Walmart sells one out of every four uh, bags of groceries in the entire country. Do you really want to consolidate things like that? Do you want to have one company that sells all the furniture in the world and all your groceries and has all the corn seeds? Just one, one chairman of the board who makes all those decisions? I don't think so. I think you want yourselves, that is the local community here, Hamden, Spring Glen, New Haven County, State of Connecticut, whatever. Uh, I think we want to uh, develop our own resources, and this is a way to do it. Well, how can you participate? Maybe you're in the mood to come and take a roof off, or maybe you're not able to do that. But what you can do is you yourself or someone that you tell uh, can come down and buy stuff that is used, either at Urban Miners, located at 30 Manila Avenue in Hamden, Connecticut, 
203-287-0852. Or you can go to one of many Habitat stores. There's one in Stratford. There's also an independent, not-for-profit uh, building materials reuse store. Um, there's one in Newington called the Reconstruction Center. There's one in West Haven, Connecticut. There's uh, actually stores all over the place. Uh, there's also a lot of independent businesses, people who salvage flooring and all this kind of thing. So the, the point is, it doesn't matter which particular place that you um, uh, buy from. Uh, you need to rethink what you're doing. You're, it's easy to go to the big box store and buy something brand new in a package that you have to assemble yourself? I don't think so. But anyway, uh, you can buy that stuff. It's easy, it's quick, it's convenient, but it's also environmentally disastrous and it's expensive and it's cheap and it falls apart. Why do, Why go there, really? I mean, uh, uh, we we did it for a while. Uh, I think we've proved that it's uh, not sustainable. Um, we don't need to... Um, we don't need to outsource everything, okay? So uh, let's uh, buy used... Let's uh, deconstruct our buildings, save the materials, and be creative about how we reuse it. Uh, I personally uh, think creativity uh, keeps, um, you know, what's that expression? You know, keeping your hands busy keeps you out of trouble. So, um, uh, by the way, we have series of workshops, and uh, we're, we're going to have one on uh, refinishing uh, furniture, for example. So instead of throwing it away, you can just learn how to refinish it yourself. Uh, that's this Saturday, March 17th. We also have an entire trailer of free stuff parked outside. You can come and take it, cabinets and whatever. Um, uh, then we're going to have a composting workshop at some point. We're going to have uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, get involved, uh, check out the website and all the other things that we have, and um, uh, be thinking alternatively. <clears throat> Do not throw it away. Reuse it. Uh, what else? Uh, I know I'm long-winded, but, you know, it, it could be worse. I could be saying nothing, right? That would be worse. Bye.